James Gunn, we know, is going to be having a big presence at DC going forward. Not only, you know, obviously being the co-president of the DC studios now, but on top of that, of course, he's still working on his own projects. You know, even before he got that position, you know, Peacemaker, The Suicide Squad, alongside this brand new spinoff focusing on Viola Davis as Amanda Waller. This is one that we, we heard about. It's been confirmed. It's happening. But we don't really know that much of what this series is actually about. What, like, what's going on? Why are we getting an Amanda Waller? HBO Max series. So we've been kind of confused by this and now today we have possibly some new details that reveal that now that James Gunn has taken on this powerful position, he may be expanding this story even further and making it a big crosser event going forward for the DCU. So anyway, of course, this series is supposedly going to be Checkmate. This is what it's been rumored to be for a while now. Months and months they've been saying this Amanda Waller series, it's going to be Checkmate. Now, Checkmate in the comics, it's... It's another Amanda Waller-led government agency type thing like Task Force X. Basically think of it as, okay, it's a spinoff of the Suicide Squad. So looking at where Amanda Waller is currently in the DCU, you know, post-Peacemaker, she um, doesn't really, you know, have the greatest image in the public eye after getting exposed for having Task Force X, aka the Suicide Squad. So she's probably going to be having to do some... Uh, some damage control and go around and basically clear her name and basically say they're like hey you know i'm not that bad so she'll be most likely assembling a brand new team um to go hunt down the former suicide squad members which i think is gonna be pretty cool it's a really cool interesting concept and so this series would of course be starring viola davis as amanda waller that has already been confirmed but today we have some new details um supposedly um fully leaked details from a post on 4chan which of course you can never fully trust 4chan because you know it's anonymous literally, literally anybody could post it but then again it is anonymous somebody could post real information there and it has happened before so this could be real reliable information but for now take it with a grain of salt but this post is saying not only is it amanda waller's checkmate series but she is going to be having her number one bodyguard basically her uh second in command is going to be joe manganello as slade wilson aka deathstroke which sounds amazing because we know you know we, we got just a taste of Joe Manganiello's Deathstroke in the post credit scene of Justice League. And since then, nothing. We, we've had nothing of him, no confirmation of his return or anything, but we've been wanting to see more. And we know that James Gunn is interested in this version of the character because there is actually concept there, and he's even talked about this, how he originally planned to have Deathstroke in the Suicide Squad in rather than uh, Bloodsport, but then he ended up changing it to Bloodsport. Um, so Deathstroke makes a whole ton sense here to be involved in this group and i mean he's a mercenary of course he's gonna be working for somebody like amanda waller so i think that makes a lot of sense and that's actually really cool but the coolest part to me that we've been hearing about in a couple different places here is that amanda waller her big goal here is to create captain adam this living weapon that she can control at her own will. So Captain Adam is a classic superhero from DC Comics. He's one that I always grew up with, not knowing much about, but always thinking that he was just, you know, he just looked really cool. He just seemed really cool. He's pretty much powerful as Superman. He's got super strength and vulnerability, all that stuff, uh, but also has atomic power. So he is a super duper powerful guy, not a guy you want to mess with. And like I said, he is basically a living weapon that was created in a laboratory. So it makes sense that uh, Amanda Waller would be involved here. But what makes me even more interested is specifically this post from 4chan says not only are we getting Captain Adam, but supposedly it may possibly even be Joel Kinnaman's Rick Flag reincarnated as Captain Adam, which when I first read that, I thought that was a little ridiculous. Like, ah, that's a little far-fetched, but it makes sense because of course the Suicide Squad, we saw the return of Joel Kinnaman as Rick Flag uh, from his debut in the 2016 Suicide Squad movie. So he returned there and he was murdered by Peacemaker, which then we got Peacemaker's redemption story, uh, redemption arc in the Peacemaker series. And so when it comes to Rick Flag, nobody cared for the character in that first Suicide Squad movie. But in the Suicide Squad, everybody loved uh, Rick Flag. 
and a lot of people were actually pretty upset that he died. I mean, I I was upset that he died because I fell in love with the character through the course of that film, but I'm glad he did, and I want him to stay dead because it was such a perfect death and, you know, really propelled Peacemaker's story forward, but this is one way I could see them bringing him back and kind of caving into fan crying out for you know, the return of Rick Flagg is to have it be that, okay, Rick Flagg is dead, but Amanda Waller being the uh, evil person that she is will then take his dead body and turn him into a living weapon. That is super messed up, but it is such an Amanda Waller thing to do. So I think that's actually pretty cool and definitely not something I expected, but I mean, this sounds pretty awesome. This sounds really, really cool. And so within this whole thing, um, this would supposedly be adapting the Janus or Janus directive um, from the comics. So this is something that where it comes into the bigger picture thing. So the Captain Adam, the Deathstroke, Checkmate, that would all be in that Amanda Waller Checkmate HBO Max series. But again, James Gunn is now the president. He is the co-CEO of DC over there at Warner Brothers Discovery. And so he's in charge. So it makes sense that he would take a story that he is so passionate about that he came up with himself and put it onto a bigger scale by adapting the Janus Directive, which in the comics is basically an eternal government war with it, with Amanda Waller and the Suicide Squad and all that stuff. You can actually see here some of the different various characters like Captain Boomerang, even Peacemaker there off to the left. Um, but... What I think they're most likely going to do, obviously, because you can never adapt something, you know, one-to-one -one from the comics to the movies, I feel like they're probably going to do it more along the lines of, you know, just to make it a bigger crossover event, do it more so like uh, a Suicide Squad slash Checkmate, possibly even both different teams, versus the Justice League, maybe get the Justice Society in there, and basically just cross over all these big DC teams, which we know is another thing that The Rock has also been wanting to do as well, is do a Black Adam versus Justice League versus Suicide Squad movie. Well, this is kind of what James Gunn apparently wants to do as well with the Janus Directive, which I think will be pretty cool. Uh, this sounds like a great idea, and I did a video a couple weeks ago when we were talking about that idea that The Rock had for that Black Adam vs. Justice League vs. Suicide Squad movie, and I was talking about how that sounds amazing and sounds really cool and could be kind of like a, an Avengers Infinity War Endgame type level movie for DC. That's the epic crossover event that we need, and would be this great movie to really build up to, have this long-term 10-year plan building up to this film. I think that's a great idea. Uh, but again, all this information is coming from a post on 4chan, so we can't take it with 100% validity, but I hope it's true, because it sounds pretty dang awesome. I mean, getting Deathstroke's return with Joe Manganiello, getting the return of Rick Flagg in the form of Captain Adam, just getting Captain Adam in general, honestly, and then it all leading to and building up to a Justice League versus Suicide Squad versus Justice Society versus Black Adam versus Checkmate movie with Amanda Waller being at the center of it. Amanda Waller would be the Thanos, which I think is another thing I talked about in my other video from earlier today about rumors of a new Justice League movie being in development, is I I don't like how with the first Justice League movie, we just skipped right ahead to Darkseid and Steppenwolf and all the big apocalypse stuff. I want to keep it smaller scale, so to do a huge epic event with this giant crossover, but have it be literally a normal person like Amanda Waller, having no superpowers or anything, being behind it all, being the source of evil in this whole plan, I think will be pretty awesome. I think that will be pretty dang cool. And again, I really do hope this ends up being true. But for now, guys, uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about these new rumors about the Checkmate HBO Max series and the Janus Directive and all these plans that James Gunn has for the future of the DCU? So anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please drop a give and enjoy this video and hit the subscribe button so I keep it to date on everything goes on in the DC life.